Having just released on the Steam and the Epic Store, for those diving into Nightingale, here are 10 plus spoiler free tips to get you kickstarted on your adventures. First off, looting can be cumbersome when you're manually picking up each item. Nightingale has an area loot ability you can use by holding down E on mouse and keyboard or X on controller. Next, it's crucial to carry healing cells with you from the start as they are handy to have in a sticky situation. These are craftable at a cooking station. Trees have hitboxes that are somewhat tricky. Make sure you always see damage numbers when hitting a tree. If you don't, move your crosshair down a bit. Also, second tip here, instead of holding down the button to chop a tree, you can spam it and hit it faster. Next, make Make sure to locate and complete Fey Towers first when you open a new realm. These reveal points of interest across your map. Check out dear old Virgil here. Recruits like him don't have any weight limits. They're monsters. You can put all your heavy items in their inventory without burdening them. Here Virgil, since you like wood so much, why don't you have some more? Make sure to check out the challenges page in the guidebook by hitting escape, then navigating to the challenges tab. These have great rewards early on. 500 essence, that's wild. Next, when placing down crafting workbenches and beds, make sure to put them on a foundation and under a roof. This will give them a buff to crafting speed. You can rename chests to keep your storage organized. By holding down the interact button, you can find the rename action in the menu. Make sure to take advantage of the minor realm cards. These can provide really powerful buffs. One of them can double the duration of potions and food. This is a great card for taking down the first boss. You can activate minor cards at the realmic transmuters here on your map. For traveling long distances, instead of killing your fingers by holding down the walk button, you can actually auto run by hitting caps lock and then shift. There isn't a default for this on controller, but you can keybind it in the menu. Next, you need essence for repairing equipment and unlocking recipes. The fastest way to get these is by pulling out your sickle and going to town on some plants. Each of these plants nets you one essence. And last but not least, relax and enjoy the adventure. Nightingale has a lot to offer. Take your time, explore different realms, and build a cozy home. You won't regret it. If you liked the video, drop a like and consider subscribing. Leave a comment letting me know if you find this helpful and if there's any other tips that you'd like to share. That's it for today though, thanks for watching, take it easy.